Alright, it's time for stage two, everybody, but look at this. Are you kidding me? Look at that hand already at the beginning of the stage ready to, like, mess me up. Sucks to be you. Friggin' wall masters coming out of the floor. Invisible men. I don't think those hands can actually hurt you, they just bind you in place, but these spiders, they are bad news. That dude just jumped out of a tree, like a ninja or something, a ghost ninja. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go, haha. -ha. What? Because sworn I had my whip out in front, you're getting axed. And spikes in this game will kill you instantly, so... Yeah. Watch out for that, especially in later levels, as you'll see. One thing that's really great about this game is we entered that bridge, but this is like Dracula's front yard. We're not even in the castle yet, which is awesome. Like, it, I, I really like that about like this game. Like, most games, you're just in the castle, but not this one. This one, you're, you know walking through his yard, killing armadillos and jumping on spikes and stuff. Hopefully not jumping on spikes, but it's gonna happen. Thankfully not there, because you know, my track record of predicting things. Oh, come on. Yeah, your whip does not do full damage when it's just limp. Wh what hit me?! That was so cheap. He was not even on the screen yet. Now that will not hurt you. That mud or quicksand or whatever the heck it is. Die in a fire, freaking crow. I'll let you live. Alright, there should be like some really ridiculous frog coming up. That's gonna Yep, there he is. You suck, I hate you. He's like worse than Flea Man, because he's just so friggin' small. Okay, you don't want to fall through there? We're gonna go this way then. Oh, See, look at that! Your whip goes right over him. What a turd. I think there's health or something. Actually, I think it's an invincibility in this. As well as a cross. Oh, health, thank goodness. And the cross in this level. Oh, man, I was gonna say, where'd my little Roman numeral 2 go? But I forgot that it just it's only for the stage. God, this stage has so many small enemies. That's a knife. We don't want the knife. Oh wait, that's the knife. That's money. Screw the money. I have rules. Haha. -ha. Okay, now this is the easiest boss pretty much in the game. Here comes Medusa. And if we just stay low... Why would that not kill the snake? <laughs> she petrified me, but it was too late. There's a two, but I don't need it at this point in the level. I could have used it during Medusa. It would have been over in like... Oh, yeah, you lose it if you change weapons. That's what it is. Freaking sucks. Hey, that sounded like an extra life, though. This part of the stage is just even easier. But those are spikes on the walls, those red things, and they will kill you. So you gotta watch out. Only other thing is that your the current changes. I don't know how it's flowing uphill, 
But it's magic, I don't have to explain things. Still wish I was being less careless with my sub weapons. Because I would have had a, a cross and a Roman numeral 3 by now. But, what can you do? Now he changes direction. I could have used that a second ago, and now I don't need it. I don't know what these flying uh, things are. Rather, I forgot what their names are. But they suck, and they're like the weakest things in the game. They have huge hitboxes, and they die in one hit. And there's the end of the level. Boss said to be middle this that time, so... Kinda odd. And I'm ready for... Well, I think I'm ready for stage three. This one always gives me way more trouble than it should, and you'll find out next time why.